Hello, I'm Winnie Kiza, a former member of parliament in the parliament of Uganda, former leader of the opposition, an appointment that made me the first female leader of opposition in Uganda since independence. I've served on several committees in the Parliament of Uganda, the Committee on Local Government Accounts, the Committee on Government Assurances, and I served as the Opposition Chief Whip in the same Parliament. I've been in Parliament for the last 15 years. Parliamentary system in Uganda is very interesting. Members of Parliament are drawn from the different districts of the country. They are drawn from the interest groups from the country, and these include the army, the young people, the persons with disability, the workers of the country, and then we have the constitutional provision that empowers women and encourages women to get into positions of leadership. And this therefore causes an election of every woman for each district. Parliamentary system is in a way that we really think that parliament is a separate arm of government, it's supposed to be independent from the judiciary, it's supposed to be independent from the executive, it is supposed to be independent of itself. To the extent that members of parliament could even cause an impeachment of the minister should they find him unworthy or her unworthy. The liberations in parliament will be able to guide the executive on how to do things. However, by and large, our country is becoming a little bit fixed to the extent that the president currently now dictates even what should happen around parliament, dictates what should happen in the courts of law, and how the executive should carry out its work. Those of us who believe in democratic processes, to those of us who believe in democracy, we feel that there is a lot that needs to be desired in regards to parliamentary democracy, because democracy in parliament is hitting a snag. We believe in a parliament that should be separate from the executive, a parliament that should be lean. A population of 45 million people has a parliament of 500 29 members, you will see that the cost of administration is really so high, so we need to also go slow on the cost of administration. Possibly have a lean parliament, have a lean administration, have a lean government that will preoccupy itself with service delivery. We think this is possible if we continue fighting corruption, then we can be able to have a parliament that will be real, a parliament that will work other than having a parliament that just waits to get orders from the president, a parliament that just looks at how they can make themselves happy before the country is happy. These are some of the issues that we think should be talked about in making Uganda a people-centered leadership country, a people-centered institution of parliament, and one that considers service above self.